Samsung released the Galaxy Note 9 today, and sadly we didn't get a Note 9 to review today, but we did get a hold of some of the pre-production cases that two of the companies here in Texas send out so we can review them on this channel. Now, they're not gonna be a full review. We're just gonna get the first impression, check them out, see how they look, and see how they compare to the Galaxy Note 8. Hey, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, my name is Mario and we do weekly tech videos. We focus on the Galaxy Note 4, Note 5, Note 8, and now the Galaxy Note 9. So if you have any of the Galaxy Note phones, consider subscribing to this channel for weekly video. First, I wanna give a quick shout out to Amardillo Tech for sending us one of their pre-production cases uh, so we can check them out today. Uh, we're gonna have the final product very soon and we're gonna have a full detailed review of them. Also, I wanna give a quick shout out to iPulse cases for sending us some of the pre-production cases to check them out on this channel. Again, they're gonna send us the final product very soon and we're gonna have detailed reviews of their cases. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I have a couple of dummy phones of the Galaxy Note 9 that we're gonna use to check out these cases. So let's check out some of the cases from Apple's cases. So they mainly focus on flip wallet cases. They're gonna be Italian full grain premium leather. And I can tell you just by the first impressions, they're not cheap at all. The first thing that we wanna check out is the location of the fingerprint sensor, which it was the biggest design change on the Galaxy Note 9. I can tell you, I think I like it better. It feels like it's just uh, user-friendly. It's, uh, it's just ergonomic. It's easier to reach the fingerprint sensor compared to when it was on the side on the Galaxy Note 8. I mean, I, I kinda got used to it, but now that I'm checking out the Galaxy Note 9, uh, honestly, I think I like it better on the location that it is. So I post nail it when it comes to the cutout. Again, on this design, this is gonna be premium leather. The leather feels pretty sleek, pretty smooth. Kind of like when you go buy one of those uh, premium wallets at the mall. That's basically how it feels. Very nice leather. It does offer full protection all the way around. I feel like if you drop it, it will give you some amount of protection. On the side, you got these magnet locks, which also is gonna keep the phone to stay in there. So even if you drop it, this is gonna add that additional protection. So keeping the, the wallet from opening and damaging the front on the front. On the inside, again, it feels pretty premium. It's very well made. It's, the stitches are right on point. You do get two different compartments for if you have credit cards and you have one compartment if you have like your ID. On the bottom, the cutouts, there's not gonna be much. Uh, honestly, it's pretty much the same as the Galaxy Note 8. Samsung didn't do much of a change. You still have your stylus pen, which it's a little bit different. Uh, on the Galaxy Note 9, the, cut, the actual uh, design is gonna be a little bit more of a rectangle -ish compared to the Note 8. Uh, you got your speaker, microphone, Type-C charging port and you got your audio jack. Pretty much the same, nothing changes on the top. Again, you got your other microphone. Also very important on this one, if you wanna consume some uh, content, you can just basically stand this in your desk. It will also work as a stand uh, where you can actually watch YouTube, Netflix, and just while you have it in your desk. You wanna take pictures, use the camera. I mean, it's pretty similar to the other wallet cases. It doesn't get on the way. Uh, once you get used to it, you can definitely snap some pictures, use it to take video. It stays in there, it doesn't come off at all. Shout out for doing a good job on this case. Now this other case, is gonna be also premium leather as different color feels good to the touch this is gonna have a Bible verse engraved so if that's something that you're looking for definitely check that out again similar design you got your uh, magnetic locks on the side to keep the front wallet from opening on the inside again you're gonna have one two three flats on this one to store credit cards and on the bottom you have one more for your credit card Feels premium, stitches are well done. Also, you got your design, so you can also use it as a, as a stand. If you wanna consume some content, for example, you wanna watch YouTube, Netflix, definitely, you can just sit there on, the, on your desk. And on the story design, this is the vintage book design. Pretty cool, old style. Kinda of feels like suede, leather premium. Now, this one is a little bit beat up because it, again, it's a pre-production, but on the side, you got your design as book design. Very unique, uh, will make your Note 9 look pretty cool, different from everyone else. Cutouts are on point, similar to the other cases. On the bottom, the top, you got your magnetic locks on the side as well. Inside on this one, you got one, two slots for credit card, then you got your, your ID, and you also have another slot inside if you wanna add like paperwork, store some paper, or maybe put some money in there. Definitely, you can also use this as a stand as well to consume video while you're sitting in your desk. Thank you, iPulse cases for sending them out. But now let's go check out this case from Armadillo Tech, uh, probably one of my favorite ones so far. Now, this one is called the Vanguard series. Again, another pre-production, final product is not out yet. So this one, first thing I noticed is the cutout for the fingerprint sensor. Again, this is the first thing that got my attention. It is right on point. I like it better than the Galaxy Note 8. Easier to reach, it's more user-friendly. Uh, when it comes to getting the grip, you get a better grip. Now this is gonna be more of the military full grip protection all the way around. Kind of like the older box in the UAG, so you can have an idea. Uh, this is gonna have full protection all the way around. Also right in the front, you're gonna have a plastic 
screen protector that is going to protect the phone from getting scratched. You do have the cutouts for the cameras and the speakers so that does not get in the way of the functionality of the phone. On the bottom you're also going to have these two covers that is going to protect the charging port and the audio jack from getting dirt and dust uh, in there so definitely this is something good. Very important something I really like about this case is the cutout for the stylus pen and I always mention this in the reviews. When you're getting a case you want to be able to get to your stylus pen as soon as possible when you need it. You don't want to struggle trying to take it out because sometimes you know when people are talking to you you got to take notes real quick. You don't want to tell them hang on let me get something you know you want to be able just to get your stylus pen out and just start taking out some notes. Being able to do that on this case is gonna definitely gonna make a difference. I can see I can actually get my whole finger in there and I can tell you this is gonna be easier to get the stylus pen in and out but we'll check that out on the final review. Another thing that stands out that I like about this case is that you got the kickstand in the back. You're gonna be able to consume uh, again some of your YouTube content or Netflix while you're on your desk and definitely easier just to have it there and when you're not using it very easy it goes right in there and it doesn't even feel like it's in there so again this is pre-production once we get the final product we'll go into the details on the front you have the curved edges on the end so this is going to add additional protection if you actually drop it uh, from one of the corners so it will protect it from breaking the glass there you have it guys so this was just the first impressions of the initial cases for the galaxy note 9 uh, let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about it are you guys going to get the galaxy note 9 uh, which cases did you like the most which cases did you want to see the review first so anything that you want to see make sure you let us know in the comment section below thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have one of the note phones especially if you're thinking about getting the galaxy note 9 uh, make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed this content and i'll see you on the next one